guys, this is Ian with a tutorial from iMovie. Um, so, here's the movie I made. Um, this is what it looks like. Whoa! Um, so this is the tutorial. So the effects I'm showing you today is this one uh, that goes across the top. And then I'm going to show you this one. And then I'm going to show you this muzzle flash. Um, the muzzle flash and the missile are both not pre-keyed or green screened and the missile is actually just pictured and pictured which is pretty easy so um, the first one I'll do is the glass you can find this off um, it's um, footage crate And then it's under action horror and pre multiplied in 3D. You'll find it. It's called, um, it looks like this bullet on glass pre keyed. And now what you want to do is you're going to import it. And then um, what you're going to do is you're going to import it to iMovie. And then what you're going to do. Oh, and also, I forgot to do this in the beginning of the tutorial, but, um, go to iMovie Preferences, and go to Show Advanced Tools, and make sure that is checked. If that is not checked, you can't do anything that I'm going to do in this tutorial. So, what you're going to do, is you're just going to put that one in, and then, this is the, uh, tutorial for the muzzle flash part. Um... Uh, this is my muzzle flash, I just, um, it's also from, um, footage crate, and it is also, it's under muzzle flash effects, and it's handgun flash, it should be for a handgun, this muzzle flash, um, so, I downloaded this into iMovie and then I dragged it onto a green screen, which you can get offline. Just go to Google Images and search green screen G JPG. And then what you want to do is once you have it, um, you're going to drag it, not onto the green screen, I'm sorry. Just drag it onto the place that... Um, The place where um, you want it, like in the muzzle flash, and then make it as big as you want it. And so I'll show you. Say I wanted it here. I would click picture in picture and then make it as big as I wanted it. And right where I wanted it. It might take a little while to figure out where that was because you have a black screen. But then once you have it, um, you drag it into the green screen, so I would drag it from there to there. Um, don't change where it goes. Don't, like, move it or anything. And then what you're going to want to do on the green screen is you're going to want to, um, go to video adjustments and take off all the blue and all the red and put the green to 8%. And then you click done. And then what you're going to do is you're going to, um, you're going to go 
to share export movie which should drain it right over there somewhere and then drag it into what the place you want it right here and then it should pop up find it and drag only you'll see only that part see right there oh and also before you um, take the um, the black thing click the effect roster on video effects and then just drag this part that's what it should look like and I suggest filming it from far away what you should do after this is drag it onto the place you wanted it and it click green screen and that will put it into a green screen there but if you film it up too close it should get black lines um, that's what it did for me um, and then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna um, want to go so this is the part of the tutorial when I will show you where this is gone gotten from that is gotten from get nations film you should find it really easily and that's just picture in picture and put it as big oh and one more thing about the muzzle flashes um, you might want to put it slower because it's a little bit fast at first and so that brings our tutorial to an end I got these sound effects if you're wondering off iTunes it's called 50 cal pistol shot 3 it's what it's called and um, I got the um, yeah and so uh, I guess that brings our tutorial to an end. Uh, goodbye. Uh, yeah, I hope I'll make more tutorials. Um, that brings it to an end.